not from Sacramento, so this has been interesting to see, you know, what a high schooler is like in a place like this. Um, and also just what foster care is. I mean, just meeting Malik has been a blessing. Like, I think the way that you guys paired us, I don't know if it's luck or not. So yeah, you're either doing a great job or we got really lucky. This is a side of society I didn't grow up knowing. There's probably kids I grew up with that were dealing with all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And I had no clue that maybe that's why they're falling asleep in class, you know, is because they didn't get any sleep because their life's crazy outside. So, um, so I don't know. I think it's just been cool to see that and the story of him. And, you know, that's just kind of invaluable. So. When I have a problem, I'll talk to him about it and he listens and then he, we joke about it. I don't really tell my problems like most people because sometimes they don't listen and they'll like try to give a solution to the, like the problem and sometimes you don't want that but like he'll listen and he'll be like yeah man that sucks you know um, I've heard sometimes it's easier to pull people than push them um, and I usually try to do that and just be there meet them where they're at but I mean for the most part it's like kids doing the best you can you know, he didn't have much guidance when I first saw him and he's landed to a good foster home and just seeing that system. Um, I don't know, he must have great optimism. And I mean, he is somewhat pessimistic, but I think it helps him cope with some things. Um, and I don't know, I'm just like very proud and impressed with how he handled things because I don't think uh, everybody would handle it that way in that case. And maybe he didn't have a choice but to do that. But I've uh, really just been impressed and love seeing who he's becoming. Yeah, he's a master of all anime, so he's actually uh, taught me a lot. So. Well, comics and anime are two different, different things. Yeah. <laughs> but I wouldn't want to mention him as like my mentor or like someone from Oscar, so like I refer to him as like my older brother or like brother in law. So like my friends, you know. But yeah. he does have that figure of a brother. So. You know, honestly, he's like just a level headed kid. Um, I think he wants good naturally to be done for other people. Like he's not very mean to anybody. He's not a bully. Um, and I don't know, just I've heard him talk about certain social situations where somebody's being mean to somebody else. And the way that he handles it seems very much more mature than, you know, I would have handled it probably when I was 17. Um, so I think, I don't know, he's somewhat of an old soul in, in ways. And I don't think he's trying to keep up with crowds and be super cool, which I think is going to pay dividends in the long run. The time that i know known him, he's always been kind of like the same, like someone I could just go to and hang out with. And he's kind of been through me and fought with, uh, with me and foster care through thick and thin, so yeah, it's, it's been a lot through like four years of foster care, so yeah. You are, do not have to be a hero, you can be a loser. <laughs> like, I think that was like the biggest uh, fear of mine is not being enough. Um, for anybody, maybe that's just a normal insecurity, but um, this is like, people need people. And these people, unfortunately, are in a system and there's holes in that system. And this really fits a nice gap of like what I've seen from it, of uh, the personal connection. Like I've seen Malik in three different places and he's had social workers and all that, but like, we're not paid to do that. And I do think just time will make you important, whether or not you want to be. So, um, so I would just say it, it's really great. Um, and also just like a personal connection, it's like invaluable.